بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آغا خان is to replace his smiley dua with namaz that is salah in december 2008 the ismaili community received a special message from karim aga khan their 49th imam instructing his religious institutions to make available to his followers globally the ismaili namaz by 2009 this namaz that is salah will replace the current arabic dua going back in history during 1957 Karim Aga Khan had introduced the first Arabic dua to his community from Nairobi, East Africa. That Arabic dua had replaced the earlier Gujarati dua. Going further back to the 11th century, during the golden age of Ismailis, the Fatimid Imams admitted Muslims from all different communities to Al-Azhar University in Cairo. During the life of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, there were no divisions or parties within the Ummah. It was after the Prophet had left this world, the communities of Shias, that is the party of Ali, and Sunnis, that is the party of Sunnah, came into existence. It is admirable that Karim Aga Khan himself, a Shia Imam, has been offering his Friday namaz behind the Sunni Imams in the Sunni mosque of India, Pakistan, Syria and Africa. To see the photographs of Karim Aga Khan praying behind Sunni Imams, visit internet site mostmerciful.com. In October 2006, Karim Aga Khan had played before the Prime Minister of Canada to contribute 30 million Canadian dollars for fostering pluralism within Canada. The concept of pluralism means the tolerance of diversity within a society. This replacement of dua with namaz and the fostering of pluralism by their imam has raised questions among the Ismaili community of Canada such as After the introduction of namaz, what would be the response of the local Ismaili leaders if any time members of the other Muslim communities would express the desire to join the daily prayers or Friday namaz within the Ismaili Jamaat Khanas? Will they promote pluralism and allow them? The idea of tolerance within Muslim brotherhood and sisterhood will unite the Ummah and stop Muslims killing Muslims in the name of sectarian beliefs and dogmas. If Karim Aga Khan was to promote with his influence for this Islamic unity within the Islamic Ummah globally, starting with his own followers, that would be a remarkable achievement. The division within Islam is seriously denounced by the Quran in chapter 6, verse 159. I quote, Surely those who divide religion into sects and identify themselves as a sect, you have nothing to do with them. Their case will be called to account by Allah Himself. He will inform them as to what they did. End of the quote. Allah has truly spoken the truth. <laughs>